God say amen. amen. And you may take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen. amen. We're going to continue very quickly a preaching series that we began last week. And that is, is our post-Easter theme, which is intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. Intimacy with God. And what we're attempting to do here at Kofa uh, uh, is to work against our turning resurrection uh, Lent and, and the holy season, the Easter season, the resurrection season as merely being an event and that we have a wonderful Amen. resurrection service wow. and then we go back to business as yes. usual. Yes. Somebody say amen. Yes. But it's what, what those great sacred seasons of the year should do is that they should drive us closer to God. Ah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Uh-huh. And so it should, it should evoke in us and inspire in us uh -huh, to have a more intimate relationship yes. with him. Yes. Thus this speaking, preaching series, mm -hmm. Intimacy with God. Yes, Lord. This morning I would like to speak from the subject, Desperate for His Presence. Desperate for His Presence. And I want to add two pieces of scripture to the scriptures that were already read. The first from Jeremiah 29. Verses 12 and 13. Jeremiah 29, verses 12 and 13. And it says, then shall we call upon him. Somebody say, I'm desperate for his presence. I'm desperate, I'm desperate for his presence. Then shall we call upon him, and ye shall go and pray unto him. Amen. And he shall hearken unto you. Yes. Then shall ye call upon me. The God is speaking through the prophet saying, then shall you call upon me. But verse 11 is interesting because it says, God is saying, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord. Yes. Thoughts of peace and not of to give you an expected end. Mm -hmm. And ye shall seek me. Verse 13 says. And find me. When ye shall search for me. With all. Of your heart. See I'm desperate for his presence. I'm desperate for his presence. I, 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 I want to look at. First John. <clears throat> Two and six. First John, not the Gospel of John. First John, two and six. Yes, yes. It says, "He that saith, he abideth in him, ought 
himself also so as to walk even as he walks. He that abideth in him mm -hmm. should begin to look like him. Yeah. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. You know, last week we talked about the benefits and the results of intimacy with God. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. And we talked about that as a result of having an intimate relationship with God, uh, three things happened. One, you began to pick up his attributes. Amen? Uh, when, we, when, we, when we're around people, we, we, we tend to become like them. Amen? And then, uh, secondly, we said that you, we began to uh, pick up his attitude. Uh, an attitude of faith. Attitude of certainty. To be with God. It's like being with a powerful person. Mm -hmm. And powerful people just have an attitude of confidence. Amen. Am I right? Amen. Amen. And thirdly, we talk about one of the key benefits of a uh, intimate relationship with Christ, intimate relationship with God, intimate relationship with powerful people, is that we become fruitful like their fruit. Amen. Hmm. Iron sharpens iron. Amen. That's why when people have businesses and they start businesses, they get under a tutor, they get under a mentor, right? They get under a coach, especially a successful coach. Isn't that right? Amen. Uh -huh, because their success, that it falls on them. They pick up their attributes, they pick up their attitude that results in their fruit. Amen. This morning, in some ways, I want to deal with that, that first point, the attributes as a result of our intimacy with God, Amen. our intimacy with Christ. But let's look for a minute again at this word intimacy. Intimacy carries with it the aspects of a relationship with someone where you are vulnerable, where you are loving, where you are trusting, even open and honest. True intimacy involves sharing and closeness. Amen. Where the deepest parts of us is connected to the deepest parts of another. Mm -hmm. So deep if the intimacy is often and regular, mm -hmm. it results in a subtle transfer of connection. If the communication is regular, if the communication is ongoing, there is a transfer. Yes, Lord. Their attributes and Christ's attributes becomes ours. We become like our daddy. <laughs> we talked about how that is a positive thing, the intimacy, and it can be a negative thing. Uh -huh. Because we know that if we begin to hang with them, we become like them. That if we hang with them, we talk like them. If we hang with them, we walk like them. Yes. If we hang with them, we think like them. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible and the old saints would admonish us to be equally yoked. Amen. Because that yoking is a form of intimacy where we're together, we're connected. That relationship, that, that closeness that we look like them. Oh, they talk a lot. They have the same mindset. <laughs> Clicks in and outside of the church. Prayer partners even praise a lot. Am I right? Yeah. They are connected to similar scriptures. Their thinking about God is similar. Amen. So the attributes follow. <clears throat> I pick up his walk. I pick up his talk. I pick up Christ's disposition. Mm -hmm. His characteristics fall upon me. Mm -hmm. His way of living. His way of acting. 
In some ways, the transfer is similar to Christ bearing our sins. He bore our sins. He carried our sorrows. He became yoked with us. Uh -huh. He put on our sin. And as a result of that, we in exchange should put on him. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Colossians, that 3 and 12 tells us to put on or to be to clothe ourselves with him. And, and it gives us a characteristic, a personality, some values, some ethics that, that suggests what putting on Christ means. It doesn't say anything about clapping our hands. It doesn't say anything about running around the church. It doesn't say anything about speaking in tongues. But it says something about acting a particular way. Well, it talks about compassion. Yes. Putting on Christ means having kindness. Putting on Christ means having humility. Mm -hmm. Putting on Christ means having gentleness. Yes. Putting on Christ means having patience. Yes. Well, my friends, uh -huh, I don't want to be shallow this morning. But how do I put him on? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I put him on by spending time with him. That's right. That's right. And as I spend time with him, he rubs off on me. Yes. Uh -huh. A transfer occurs. Uh -huh. The more that I am around him yes. in a close and intimate way, uh -huh. he rubs off on me. Well. Just like Bobo and Ray Ray and Shanae <laughs> and Bubbles rub off on me when I hang out too long. Somebody need to say, ouch. Uh, 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 it's, in a, in a, it's an intimate and close way. Yeah. Uh -huh. In a way where it is only he and I. Uh -huh. He rubs off on me. In a way where it is exclusive. Somebody say intimacy. Okay. It is exclusive. Uh, and I give him my me time. Mm -hmm. mm. Then he begins to affect me. He begins to rub off on me. Uh -huh. I begin to have his characteristics. Well, uh -huh, uh -huh. I, but listen, my friends. Uh, uh, can I take my time and teach for a moment? Uh, you yeah. see, you see, I can, I can, I can put on Christ uh, uh, in in two ways. Uh, I can put on Christ in an intentional way. Uh huh. I decide. To put on Christ. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, I make up my mind uh, to do. Uh, it is a matter of the will. And in other ways, my friends, because of this inter, inter this intimacy uh, and this interpersonal exchange, uh, this transfer of characteristics, uh, there is also an unintentional putting on of Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is indirect. Uh, it is the result of cause and effect. Uh, he begins to rub yeah, on me, yeah, yeah, which yeah. causes me to be like him. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and, and my friends, it works Ooh, in yeah, the opposite too. Uh, the less I am with him, uh -huh. uh, the less he impacts me. Yeah. Yes. The less he feeds my mind, the less he impacts my heart and impacts my so uh, the things that guide and direct my behavior, the less that I am with him, the more I am left to myself uh, yeah. and the impulses 